Hey guys, become your strength, release your limitless potential. Welcome to a new video. Are you addicted to your desires? Are you? <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about and find out in today's video. So, desires. We can all be addicted to following our desires. And it can be both good and bad. It has both a good and a bad aspect of it, okay? It depends on this desire. So by by being addicted to your desire, you're basically, in other words, addicted to getting this type of stimulation in your mind, in your body, at a frequent level, at a frequent, in a frequent period of time, right? We have so many different desires. Some desires are basically just good for you. They, uh, the, the more you are exposed to them, the more you take part and fulfill them and make them into a reality in your life, the better your life will get. They just make your life better, right? Um, it may be a dream of yours. Your desire might be to, to fulfill your dream. But there are also other desires that may seem good to you right they may feel like they serve your life and your your purpose and your your well-being in a good way right but they form this some of these desires form this illusion where you think you are living in a good way where you feel good but you could actually feel a lot better right if you just stopped stimulating yourself with these types of things and I'm talking about many many different things here you can be addicted to um, to watching TV series you can be addicted to eating food you can be addicted to sex orgasms right you can be addicted to I don't know <laughs> I don't have that many examples you, you can be addicted to judging other people you can be addicted to not eating at all. There are so many women, some men as well out there, that feel that they're really fat and that they need to starve themselves in order to feel accepted by society, which is really sad to think about. But this is a desire. All these people have a desire to stimulate themselves one way or another. If you eat junk food every single day, of course you know that it won't help you in the long run but it gives you that immediate kind of uh, what do you call it immediate stimulus right it makes you feel good then and there and you choose it because it's the easiest way to go so those are some of the negative desires that you can fulfill that you can take or bring into your reality it's, it's those things that, that bring immediate gratification to you. Those desires that don't bring immediate gratification or immediate pleasure to you may, be, may end up being the best ones, like exercising, for example. Exercising will make you feel... <laughs> it may make you feel shitty, you may be really really tired you you might feel like dying after a workout but at the end of the day it will make you better it will make you feel better maybe not right then and there but after a while you will start building up this um, this momentum towards a better self right and yeah I'm, I'm again asking you here what desire are you addicted to are you addicted to good desires desires that bring me bring only positive things into your life that only make your life better in the long run we're looking at a long perspective here or are you a slave to immediate gratification are you a slave to um, to just getting this this stimulus is that it is that everything that you base your habits on Try to ask yourself this, this question. Be critical to yourself. 
Now, what would be the solution if you have these uh, bad addictions? <laughs> there are so many good addictions out there. Yeah, it, it really is. There are good addictions out there. But what is the solution to the bad ones? How can you convert the bad ones into good ones? How can you gain or start up more good patterns in your life? It's all about focus at the end of the day. If you manage to change your focus, it will really help you out. But it takes time to change a habit. You need to change focus um, in terms of your thoughts, but also in terms of your feelings. You need to see other things as more pleasurable. And you have to gain this deep understanding that, yeah, things will take time for me to... I, I need to learn how to enjoy other things, but it takes time. So, yeah, it's, it's about focus, changing your focus, changing your feelings about things, and, and just learning that this takes time. It takes time and it may be hard to, to change your habits in this way. In essence, it's all about becoming more eudaimonical and less hedonical. The hedonical person is all about getting immediate gratification. He or she is constantly as being, a, you know, a slave to the ego, right? A euda eudaimonical person is more the person that can undergo a much longer process. That is trying to seek out the intrinsic value of things, right? Helping other people, making other people feel good, doing things that won't just benefit yourself, but benefit others, right? Inspiring other people. If you, for example, go from eating junk food all the time to eating like a vegan diet, for example, or a healthier diet in general, you will inspire other people. You can go out there and tell your story and it will both benefit you and others out there. So yeah, become less hedonical. Stop being a slave to your desires. Stop stop these bad addictions and get over to the good ones. Okay. I hope this video helped you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like sh like <laughs> Like, share, and subscribe if you like this video or any of my other videos. It would really help me out. If you have any questions or requests, I'll be happy to, um, to receive them, to answer them. Just make a comment in the comments below and I'll answer as soon as possible. I'll see you guys later in my next video tomorrow. So I'll see you then, hopefully. <laughs> Bye.